Welcome to the LinkedIn tutorial, How to Use LinkedIn Advanced, brought to you by ClickText, Creativity with Expertise. The world is changing, are you? I always like to bring this slide up because it shows just how fast the world often changes and how there are often delays with the consumers catching up to the speed and pace of technology. Why are you here? Because you've realized that LinkedIn is becoming an important part of your social selling business card. How is credibility and reputation built in this economy when people do business with those that have a great reputation and are credible? You can tell people that you're trustworthy, but more than likely, your sphere of influence plays a huge role in how you make buying decisions. Traditionally, we relied on television, radio, magazines, direct mail, and signage, and often heard from our family, friends, and coworkers. But now the access to information has changed. People are getting information from websites, blogs, uh, through mobile devices, obviously through the internet. And this has really influenced the way people make buying decisions. So when we talk about LinkedIn, an important reason, an important item to understand is the reasons to optimize your profile. First and foremost, it increases the traffic that your professional website receives from search engines. And you can obviously slice out that data using the analytics to see how many individuals are visiting your website by first coming to your LinkedIn profile. Keep in mind that LinkedIn is an authority site in the search engines, which enables profiles to be seen, indexed, and rank in search results. And of course, linking your company's website to an employee's LinkedIn profile improves page rank and gives more link juice, pushing the site up in the listings. So what can you do to optimize your LinkedIn profile? First and foremost, you can begin by including some compelling information about yourself in the professional title. Use keywords. Leverage SEO keywords that you want to be found for in your profile. They have to be peppered through your description, your current and past employment history, your summary, your specialties, and a number of other areas. I'll show you very quickly how to get an increased amount of exposure to your LinkedIn profile, which can result in greater opportunities for business, employment, uh, or anything else. Uh, one of the things that people often use LinkedIn for is to search for individuals that have a particular skill set. So, for example, if I'm looking for someone who has expertise in search engine optimization, you can go out there and type in SEO, search engine optimization expert, in the search bar, and it will give you a search engine results page or a LinkedIn results page. And you'll notice that my profile is optimized for the word SEO expert, and out of approximately 40,000 uh, possible matches I show up at the top. This brings me a lot of traffic to my profile and obviously that brings with it a lot of opportunity. Another example would be if someone wanted to optimize for the word franchise development. Uh, as you see my I've got a background in franchise development. My profile shows at the top out of about approximately 117,000 possible matches. So I've got a number of items that I've optimized my search uh, my LinkedIn profile for. Mobile, marketing expert. Uh, this is another keyword that I've gone after because it's something that I have a little bit of an expertise in. So I'm going to show you how to go out there and do this uh, in, in as little as time as about five minutes. I'm going to illustrate my point on how to go out there and in increase your rankings in LinkedIn to get more traffic by using a simple keyword uh, like Superman. So for example, if you were looking for Superman on LinkedIn, uh, you'd find that there are possibly 3,000 people that are that whose profile is optimized for the word Superman. Um, and so Superman still can't be found on LinkedIn. Uh, one of the easiest ways to do that, and I'll show you, is to go to your profile section and uh, click on Edit Profile. When you go to the Edit Profile section, you have the ability to edit your professional headline, your current and past employment headlines, your summary information, your specialities and a number of other items. So we're going to go out there and just simply edit, click on the edit button beside our professional headline 
and instead of the word SEO expert, I will, I will type in Superman because that's the keyword I'm going after. Obviously, you can go after whatever keywords that describe your particular skill set. So once I do that, I hit save changes. And so now you'll notice that my professional headline says Superman in it. I, I will go out there and change it in a couple of other places to insert that keyword. So I go to my uh, employment history and I will go out there and change that job title to Superman. I will go in the description section of the job and, say, and, and mention the word uh, Superman. Uh, and then what I will do is I'll also update the summary section. So I hit edit on the summary section and it says a serial entrepreneur. So I'm going to say a Superman and serial entrepreneur. In the speciality section, I will also type in Superman. Now, I'm going to hit save changes and let's see if this works. I go back into LinkedIn's search field and type in Superman because now I'm looking for Superman on LinkedIn and voila, what you'll notice is I have now moved my profile up to the top of the search rankings on LinkedIn for the keyword Superman. Now, obviously, the word Superman is not that tough to optimize for. There's only 3,000 people optimized for it. Um, uh, but keep in mind that you can go out there and follow the same theory and insert your keywords into the relevant areas that I've outlined uh, and be found for whatever services uh, and specialities that you have. One further thing that you can go out there and do is to capture your public profile and vanity URL. It's really easy to, to do when you go in to edit your profile. You'll notice that there will be an option that will allow you to pick what vanity URL you would like. Ideally, we recommend that you should go out there and claim your name because oftentimes people who meet you or who are searching for you will search for you by your full name and you want to be found on page one with your LinkedIn profile for that. Another thing to do to go out there and increase exposure to your LinkedIn profile is to add a badge to your website. This requires a little bit of uh, cutting and pasting of some HTML code into your website, but it's a great means for individuals to go out there and share great content that you have on your website, but also go out there and, and look you up and, and follow you on LinkedIn. Joining groups on LinkedIn is a, is a very easy task to do. Uh, you are limited to joining 50 groups. Make sure you are joining groups where your customers are, not necessarily groups where people uh, are that do everything that you do because then no one's going to end up buying from you. Working the groups on LinkedIn requires that you don't just join groups where all your peers are. You join groups in order to build relationships, new relationships, and increase visibility as well as credibility. And you do that take, by taking part in discussion, discussion forums, showcasing your knowledge, offering help to connect people or offer, offer advice. Try answering questions to demonstrate your knowledge and expertise and increase your recommendations uh, from your past customers or past colleagues. Uh, and in order to do that, we recommend that you send a personal note and not just use the standard text and mass email feature that is, uh, that is provided in LinkedIn. This presentation is brought to you by Jim Shade Hashmi. I go by Jam. You can email me at jhashmi at clicktext.com. And again, you have attended the tutorial for LinkedIn Advanced brought to you by ClickText, creativity with expertise.